The number one villain from competitive Pokemon has its own events in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The seven star Incineroar Terror Raid is here. Welcome back to another Dan Squared video, you animals. Summer is over, football is here, and starters are back in seven star Terror Raids. I personally have no problem with Incineroar. I don't play competitive Pokemon. I like the Alola region, and I think Incineroar is funny in Super Smash Bros because he is always just flexing. Love his vibes. Before we talk about which Pokemon we're gonna use to defeat Incineroar, we have to talk a little bit about Incineroar itself. But before we do that, I wanna remind you to follow me on TikTok if you haven't already, because that's where I do most of my streaming and shiny hunting these days. Incineroar is an all around really strong Pokemon. It has solid bulk with no glaring weaknesses. We will find out the key to beating Incineroar after the event starts, and we find out what coverage moves it has. Seven star Incineroar is Terra Dark. That gives it three weaknesses, fighting, bug, and fairy. Incineroar gets coverage for bug and fighting type Pokemon in the form of acrobatics. It has the pedestrian base power 55, which is double to 110 if the user of the move doesn't have any held items. The vast majority of seven star terror raids do not have any held items, so acrobatics could be pretty scary. Body press users will be less scared of acrobatics because to raise their attack power, they actually have to raise their defense. Incineroar could also check our fairy type Pokemon with Iron Head. Incineroar's scariest move is its signature move, Darkest Lariat. It ignores the stat changes of the target, so we can raise our defense all we want. Darkest Lariat is going to ignore that. It'll also pack a fire type move, maybe something like Flare Blitz or Flamethrower if Game Freak wants to make Incineroar a mixed attacker. It also has a whole mess of useful status moves like Parting Shot, which does work in Terror Raids and lowers the target's attack and special attack by one stage. If it spams bulk up like Mewtwo did with Calm Mind or Dragonite did with Dragon Dance, Incineroar could be a real problem for us. Bulk up raises the attack and defense of the user, making Incineroar hit really hard and take even less damage from our body press users and other physical attackers. Now that we know what we're up against, let's take a look at some Pokemon that we can use to defeat Incineroar in group Terror Raids. I'm recording this video before the event starts, so make sure you check back with the channel after the event starts, and I'll post my build on how you can easily solo 7-star Incineroar. Each of these builds is going to be fully written up in the description of this video, but now let's go through each of these four. Let's get the ball rolling with a Fighting Terra Samurai build. And yes, this is my Samurai the Unrivaled from April 2023's 7-star Samurai Terror Raids. Why Samurai? Because I want to utilize the move Sacred Sword. Just like Darkest Lariat, this ignores any of the stat changes on the target, so if Incineroar ends up making its defense up to plus 6, Sacred Sword ignores that. Samurai also has the incredibly useful ability in Terror Raids, a shell armor to protect us from critical hits. We further increase our survivability with Chilling Water to lower uh, Incineroar's attack stat. Then we sharpen our sword with a beautiful dance before we Sacred Sword our sword. Yes. Sword. So long as Incineroar doesn't get Thunder Punch, Samurai should be a solid attacker for group raids. Next up is our lone Fairy Terra Pokemon on the list. It is Fairy Terra Primarina. It's a mixed support attack Pokemon. It has life due to help heal our teammates, but with Draining Kiss and the Metronome held item, we can do really solid damage. Remember, Darkest Lariat ignores our stat changes, but we can use Chilling Water to weaken Darkest Lariat. Mega Lucara Bro from my Discord server inspired this build. Thank you, Lucara Bro. Shout out to DM God on Twitter for sharing this build with me. Go check them out. Drop no follow. Dosh Bun has the incredible ability, Well Baked Body. It not only makes this dog immune to fire type attacks, but it also makes the fire type attacks sharply increase the dog's defense. And defense is all we need with this dog because we're using body press to attack, which uses our Pokemon's defense stat instead of its attack. We use Mudslap to charge our Terra Orb and increase the survivability of Dosh Bun and its allies. If you try this build in solos, use the Shell Bell for some recovery and not the Metronome for extra damage. Only use the Metronome when you are working in group raids with a healer or something like the Pre-Marina we just talked about. Last but not least, we have the only legendary Pokemon on this list and it's the Chocobo uh, Galarian Zapdos fighting Terra. And we're choosing this because the attack Thunderous Kick is absolutely busted. Urgent message from editing, Dan. I forgot to say this while recording, but shout out to Ryan from my Discord for suggesting I use the Chocobo Galarian Zapdos. Now back to Dantastic video. 90 base power and lowers the target's defense by one stage every single time. 
If Incineroar goes the bulk up route, we can use one focus energy to ignore its defense boost for the entire match. Until we get knocked out, of course, but we just won't get knocked out. Because we have bulk up to increase our attack power and physical bulk. The ability to find adds another fun wrinkle to this build. When any of our stats are lowered, our attack is sharply increased. So Incineroar's Intimidate in the beginning of the Terror Raid is going to actually raise our attack by one stage instead of lowering it. Let me know in the comments what Pokemon you are building to take down 7 Star Incineroar. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, or using Thunderous Kick on that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Thanks for watching and happy Incineroar season!